Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is not going to be makeup. As you can see I am wearing on. It's going to be about henna. I'm going to be touching up my henna, which I have been doing in my hair for about a year now. And here is the brick from Lush. Mine that I use is called Caca Brune. And when you take this off, it looks like this. Now when I first started doing it, I used all six of these. And you have to cut them up in real fine pieces. But today I'm only doing a touch up, which is still a process. And I will show you bits and pieces of the process. So I'm only going to be using three. So I get to do two touch ups today and probably about four months from now. So this is a brick. You cut it up in fine pieces on a cutting board, obviously. Use a plastic bowl recommended. They do not recommend metal. Along with wooden spoons, stir it up with boiled water, which I have over on my stove top cooking right now. And you mix it in the bowl until it's like a, kind of like a brownie type of a mixture. And you don't want it too thick I really advise keeping the water with you when you go in the bathroom because it starts to dry up and you may need to pour more water in and mix it up a little bit more. So you need to put on a shirt you don't care about. The boss. Yeah. And then put like Vaseline or something around your hairline and around your ears so it doesn't get all over gloves so your hands don't turn green because the henna turns green so yeah and it doesn't smell all that wonderful and I got this from Lush by the way and I cover my bathroom floor in trash bags because it is very very messy so wherever you do the henna make sure you cover the space because it will stain and it's very hard to remove. You cover your floor, you're good to go. When you get it in your hair, throw this away, bam, you're done. So once I have the water and have the brick cut up, I will show you the consistency of it and then I will show you a little bit when I get it in my hair. And then I will wrap it up like this on my head. Now we'll wrap saran wrap all around it because if you want highlights through your hair and for it to process better, the saran wrap holds it in real good. And then I'll keep it in my hair for probably about four hours. So I will get back with you in a little while. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so I have pretty much everything I need right here. I have my pan of hot water. My mixture, as you can see, is kind of thickening up. You gotta work kind of quick with that. I put this around my scalp, so hopefully it'll stay off my skin. I have a towel around me to wipe as I go. And saran wrap for the end. And my floor is covered in brush bags. So if I make a mess, I can pick it up and throw it away when I'm done. Once I get it in my hair, I will come back to you guys so you can see it. As you can see, it's kind of a greenish brown. Yuck. That's going in my hair. I'll check back with you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, as you can see, I got my hair all done and I am wrapping it in saran wrap. And so now I got it all in my hair. It's all wrapped up. And I will leave it in for about four hours and then I will show you how it is after I take the saran wrap off and then I will wash it all out and show you the overall finished hair when it is done. So I will see you in four hours. Bye. So as you can see everybody I went I changed my shirt because you get like a lot of little crumbs on your shirt and if you sit on your couch or wherever whatever you do cooking whatever while you have this in your hair, you don't want it falling off into your furniture, food. So, I will see you later.